welcome to Kipax Cricket. Today we're going to be doing another video. Today's video we are going to be interviewing Leicestershire's opening batter and Kipax ambassador Rishi Patel. First of all, he's going to take us through what a professional cricketer carries in his cricket bag on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, he is playing at Old Trafford tomorrow, so it is packed for white ball. So I'll let him talk us through what he's got from top to bottom. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so the first thing that I have is um, my chess guard. It's an Airtech chess guard. Um, and it's just basically another vest that I put on underneath my top. So it's nice and comfy. It's not too big and bulky. Um, and then we obviously have the helmets, which are all uh, provided by the county. And it's all badged up with Vitality Blast. Yeah. Um, ready for the T20s. Do you have more than one helmet? Do you have a red ball and a white ball? No, I just have um, yeah. I just have one. And then what happens is when you get capped, you get a gold fox, not right. a red fox. Right. And then that's the only thing that changes. How? What do you have to do to get capped then? Um, it's providing performances consistently over a period of time. Yeah. Um, and it's all depending on the club. You don't know about if you're going to get one, if you're not. They just sort of hand it to you on the morning of the game. Yeah. And it's a surprise for you, so it's quite a nice thing yeah. to do. Everyone gets in into a huddle and um, congratulates you. So yeah. it's quite a nice sort of um, period. And then obviously got loads of gloves. How yeah, many gloves do you normally carry um, to a game? So I've got four sets yeah. in me at the moment, um, but I sort of sort of breathe them in, get them get used to them, sort of around February time. And then um, I sweat a lot with my hands, so. I often come and ask if I can pick up more gloves and stuff because they're quite important to try. Do you have and... set gloves for number ones for matches or set certain pair that you just wear for netting or? No, or so I, I, I number them like one to four, yeah. so I know each pair belongs to which ones, and then I just call for them as and when I do. Um, I've done this year. I've um, I actually do. It's not in this bag, but it is in my general bag. Yeah. Where I have a bit of chalk as well, mm. and that keeps my hands dry. Liquid chalk, which yeah. I carry around with me. Um, so I've got about four sets of gloves there um, which we can all take out. This is um, my arm guard, it's by Hard Yards, it's quite nice, it's mm. a sweatband as well so um, I have one for um, the Red Bull stuff and then one for the T20s which yeah. is just green, mm -hmm. uh, goes with the kit. Um, obviously I have a box in a yeah. sock, standard. Um, my iPads which are quite funky I, and I like, I've had them since I was in the academy by Stratton Fox and they're all custom made, custom designed um, with like a line on them yep. on each side. And then we'll go on to uh, the green pads that we have that you guys have got me um, for the T20 kit. It's quite a weird colour. I mean, you've had trouble <laughs> sourcing the colours and getting yep. them right, um, but they are what we use now. Um, and then we just go on to the bats really. So. How many bats do you reckon you carry around with you? Um, I probably have about four bats yeah. with me. Um, so this is one of the new ones and the T20s have just been refurbed um, and done. I also like to carry with me a middling bat, um, which I do drills with um, a lot of the time. How uh, often, every time you net or? It'll be uh, usually before a game. So if we're doing a trampo game, we'll have a training session on the Tuesday, which will be a whole net um, with bowlers. I won't use it in that one, but then I'll do an extra batting session on a Wednesday, which is optional, yeah. um, which I'll use some sidearm to, and then I'll do some drills with that just to make sure I have a nice feel for it and a nice flow with my hands. Um, so I've got about all of those things, and then we go into the other stuff. Um, so we've got a bit of sun cream in there. Um, essentials. Essentials, yeah. a lot of tape that you guys have sent down. Um, a stud key as well. Um, I've got some nail clippers, which is unusual, but yeah. yeah, something you add in. Um, and then this is just the uh, green arm guard, I think, that I have. Yeah, you one day arm From guard. my one day, yeah. Um, and do you then, normally carry your sunnies in your kit bag, or do you take that in a separate bag? That's or? in a separate yeah. bag, yeah. Um, the sunnies stay separate, just because... I know you're a big fan of your sunnies and <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I keep them in my clothing bag. Um, it's just easier to carry around, and I know where they are. And then over in this side, I have some grips, which I take with me, yeah. um, just in case I need to change them. Um, and then also, in here, I've got my own sidearm, which I use against the lads, and uh, grip here. Oh yeah. 
So I got everything covered, and that's pretty much. Do you carry your boots in that bag, or? Um, they're in the car at the moment, yeah. but yeah, that, if my bag's big enough, I'll fit them into um, into my kit bag as well. No, yeah. Do you? Um, are you good on the side arm? Or? Yeah, yeah, boys don't really like facing me, so too I don't. Quick. Not too quick. I just um, I just do too much with it. Apparently, so if they were like that, I would just take something you know um, what we like. So this year you've had a quite a bit of success in the early starts of the season. Have you changed much from last year? Do you know mentally or pre preparation or even in technique at all? Yeah, I worked hard um, in the winter in technique. Mm. Um, did a lot of stuff with James Taylor, um, ironing out a few things that we thought we could work on, and then sort of having a mental process sort of in the middle. Um, found something that which I like, which I can go back to, which I do after every ball, and that sort of keeps me focused on the next ball ahead of me. What, and what's that? Um, so for me, it's like walking away to square leg, um, undoing my gloves, so I just take the Velcro off. Um, I do a couple of deep breaths, and then just before I go back in um, to the crease, I redo my gloves, and I tap my bat down before me and then get ready. Um, I like to be ready early and just to be watching the ball as well, yeah, um, as long as I can. So have you got any like targets you're looking for this year? Is there any aims towards the end of the year or are you just taking it game by game? Or? Yeah, I think every year the target is a thousand Red Bull runs. I think yeah. that's for every cricketer um, that is a better. Um, that's always the aim and sometimes it's achievable, sometimes it's not, sometimes you have a good start and a poor end, a poor end and a good start. So it's, I think it's being flexible and then making sure in each game you know what you have to do out of that game yeah. and you play to the situation of the game and not uh, worry about yourself. And if you do that, you try and win games for the club, everything else will take care of itself. Yeah. So going forward now it's the T20 block mm -hmm. and you just forget about red ball now and it's just full focus white ball or will you still practice red ball or...? Yeah, it's an interesting one. Um, it's mainly T T20 stuff yeah. and white ball, but we have got two uh, Red Bull games in the middle of the T20, yeah. so it's still topping up everything. Um, what I've done this year, which I've quite liked, is I've sort of noted down um, things like my mental processes, my physical processes, what I'm doing, where I'm standing, um, and then I analyse each game and sort of say, this is what I did well, this is what I can do better, um, what are my thoughts on it all, uh, you know, and that sort of really helped me in making sure that the next game I try not to repeat the same mistakes over again because um, I have it down, I look at it and I see it and then I can go back and analyse it. So we have made you a new bat in there and we'll come on to that after. Is the when you're picking your bat or I know you like us to help you in that, but is there anything in particular that you like in your bats, whether it be two turn sapwood so many grains yeah. you know is there anything that when you're picking a bat yourself that you look for i'm i'm not an expert in bats mm. um so that's why i rely on you guys to give me your whatever you guys think is best for me i mean i do like my bats quite light i think in general especially for four day cricket um i think having a light bat always helps you because you can react to the ball a little bit quicker um t20 uh, have slightly shorter lengths yeah um, I feel like that just means it can I can add weight onto the bottom of the bat, um, which you know when you face Yorkers or four balls and you miss, you want a lot of your sweet spot to be a little bit lower so yeah. you can get underneath it and then try and hit it out of the ground. Um, those are probably two things so what I look for. What Rich is saying there is he is white ball bats are from top to bottom a standard length, but his blade length is a few mils shorter, and what that does it where we take the wood from and the weight from is out of the shoulder then so the weight that we take out of the shoulder or the wood that we take out of the shoulder for a shorter blade allows us to have say a bigger profile in the middle it also allows us then to hit a lighter weight so just sacrificing a couple of mil in the shoulder which also helps with um, bat speed as well will allow us to put that wood there into the middle or the edge or whatever you know and still hit a really sub low weight you know I think Rishi's weight's normally around about the 2.9 in it yeah mark. yeah but a lot of the time it's on pick up and balance for yeah. Rishi and then red ball at uh, white ball very similar again in his shapes and that now he's recently just changed to a, yeah. a his handle to oval at the bottom into round but other than that he just likes us to really pick don't you, do you yeah know I mean? more about performance than looks and now we've Correct. got pros yeah. that you know like different stuff in looks but Rishi's all about performance over looks so but 
Um, we'll go through now and we'll finish off his bat. He's decided he's going to have the pink Athena stickers for the white ball this year. So we'll go through now, finish it off, and we'll let him have a look at it. So we're back and um, just finishing up this bat that we've made this morning, especially for Rishi, to his dimensions. As I said earlier, we're putting the Athena stickers on it and then I'll let him have a feel of it and see what he thinks. Have you played at Old Trafford much before, Rish? Made my T20 debut there. Oh yeah, how did that go? Um, what did I get? Probably like 20 odd, 20 odd 15, 20 odd. Yeah, so I, I went alright. Um, I played a couple of nice shots. We were chasing like um, 13 and over, so quite hard. What what what's your favourite ground that you've played at? You know, is the one that stands out more than the others? Um, Headingley probably. Yeah. Yeah, I've always seemed to enjoy batting at Headingley. Um, in white ball and red ball, and obviously. That win that we had earlier on in the year just made that even more better, mm. special. Um, so that would probably be my favourite place. Yeah, I always judge my grounds on changing room size, how yeah. good the tee is, and then how good the pitch is. <laughs> so, you know. Different, a little bit different for me, I think. You um, but, spent the winter in India as well, didn't you, preparing, preparing yeah, for this year? Yeah, I spent a lot of time in India, uh, about six weeks or so. Um, I sort of went again, so when we broke up for Christmas, um, I decided to go out and play in India, um, you know, just to keep my workloads up, keep hitting balls, which was nice, um, and sort of different, you know, not everywhere, everyone goes there, um, just really enjoying myself, I've been there once before, so I spent a lot of time in the heat, a lot of long sessions. But was prepared fine. you well for this year then? Yeah, I think so, yeah. You know, um, batting for two hours a session and trying to concentrate on that um, is hard. And to have um, sessions where you need to stop every 30 minutes or 40 minutes because of the heat um, really helped me in, you know, making sure my concentration levels were up there with... Uh, every ball and going through that sort of mental pro process and using those routines. So outside of cricket, do you have any other hobbies or stuff you do or you like? Or Yeah, I play a bit of golf, um, as most cricketers do I think now, and we have a lot of time off. Um, it's a nice way to you know, clear the legs and well, walk around for a few hours and have a bit of fun. Um, obviously I spend time with my girlfriend as well. That's nice because she doesn't really know too much about cricket, so it's a nice change yeah. to you know, talk about her her life and her job. Get away from the game a little bit more as well. Just going back to golf, what's your handicap? Uh, 18, on so, a good day. So you're a bandit? No, 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 I'm, I'm not that good. I'm really not that good. So, I don't know where the ball's going most of the time. Just like cricket then? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'm just hit and hope. Just put the finishing touches on here. Stamp the shoulder, get the grip on, and then would you prefer a fiberglass first or a clear first? A uh, fiberglass first, yeah. This is where he tells me he's an absolute pro. He does it for a living. Are you good at it? With your back cut? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one downfall about being in this industry when I get to cricket on a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta fix everyone's bats. Yeah. Oh, he's not happy with it. No, no, you just have to readjust at the bottom. Just pull it down and over. These are a bit of a thicker grip as well, so they're a bit more tricky, but... There he is. Put the full fibre cross face on. Knocker in her after as well for you, mate. Perfect. And she'll be good to go if you want to use her tomorrow. I do. 
Not on Sky tomorrow, is it? No, no, I don't think so. Not that I know of. See why you don't like it, it's a bit more fiddly, isn't it? Yeah, very fiddly. See Trim the toe of here and then you can have a tap on a feel. Perfect. Back in one second. You go on there. Cheers. Have a feel, have a look, see what you think. It's lovely, man. Yeah, hopefully, plenty of runs in that. Absolutely. No, thank you. It's been a pleasure, mate. Thanks for having me. Yeah, all good. And, um, if you'd like, please feel free to subscribe and um, like our video. Thank you.